China is this country's biggest trade partner. The investments are aimed at key areas. Health, farming and infrastructure. China and Sierra Leone cooperation is comprehensive and all round. Uh, in, for example, in infrastructure, besides providing government's grant to Sierra Leone, which brought about visible projects, the Chinese side is also exploring new models of cooperation. You can see the impact on Freetown's landscape among the projects, bridges, a port, a national stadium, new roads. Certainly the Chinese has been front and center in providing us with the roads we have in this country. As you can see, you're looking at uh, a toll booth. This toll booth was provided us by the Chinese under a BOT built operate and transfer arrangement where our government did not have to pull out a penny for that. Freetown is a work in progress. It was all but destroyed by the civil war that ravaged this country in the 1990s. Sierra Leone has come a long way since that fighting ended in 2002, but the world's worst outbreak of Ebola showed how far it still has to go. Health services were overwhelmed. Almost 4,000 died. China was among the first international partners to step in. 2014 and 2015 experienced exponential growth in ties between the two countries after the Ebola outbreak. China's response was swift, dispatching medical funds and personnel. This hospital witnessed that friendship between the two countries. The hospital was built by China. Chinese and local medics work side by side to help turn the tide against the deadly virus. We treated Ebola victims here for a period of about eight months, and then we switched on to become a general hospital. The hospital did well because it was one of the biggest golden training centers for Ebola. It's been almost two years since Sierra Leone was declared free of Ebola. But the Sierra Leone China Friendship Hospital is still proving invaluable. Around 300 patients visit here every day. Previously, many had to travel far, sometimes out of the country for treatment. Sierra Leone will pick a new president on Wednesday. People hope the new leader can lift more out of poverty. But whatever the results, the country is determined to build on its partnership with Beijing. Susan Mongeli, CGTN, Freetown, Sierra Leone.